Now, before we get started, this is not a substitute for the printed fitting instructions, and is mandatory that the fitting instructions are read thoroughly several times before going any further. This video is only a general how to assemble and install the side boat loader. Each fitment will differ slightly. The next thing we do is place the rear top sliding crossbar onto the bridge supports and lift and turn the M6 channel nuts. This will stop the bar falling off the vehicle. Now find the centre of the vehicle and mark it on the roof rack crossbar and apply the formula in the instructions to the rear top sliding crossbar. Align these two marks up with each other and tighten the bridge supports to the top sliding crossbar. Place front top sliding crossbar onto the bridge supports and make sure the overhang is the same from front to rear. Tighten the top sliding crossbar to the bridge supports. The reason for doing this is once the boat is loaded, it will be central on the vehicle. When installing the ramps, be sure to engage the ramp end all the way into the hook connection. Otherwise, the end of the hook connector can be snapped clean off. Place the ramps so that they are parallel. Boats come in all shapes and sizes. Whether you have a boat with two or three seats, a raised bow or not, the side boat loader is fully adjustable, as you will see shortly, to cater for most boat configurations. When visualising your ramp positions, consider the length of your boat. Short boats 9 to 10 feet with two seats, you'll position your ramps behind the front seat and in front of the rear seats. Long boats 11 feet and above, position your ramps in front of the front seat and in front of the rear seat so that the overhang on the front of the boat is not too great from the bow to the front seat. Now in the event of a three-seater boat, which will probably be longer boat, in the order of 11 to 12 feet, position your ramps behind the front seat and in front of the rear seat. Common sense prevails, and common sense means consider your overhang from this position to the rear of the boat, and then this position to the front of the boat. The end result is that we all want to see a balanced load. Now let's get back to it. At this point we're going to fine tune the position of the top sliding crossbars. To do this you need to loosen the smaller side of the bridge support clamps. Now adjust the top sliding crossbars to the desired position using the fitting instructions as a guide for clearances. Once you're happy with the position of your ramps and the top sliding crossbar Tighten the bridge supports back up and once again make sure the system is still square and parallel.